Amazing people, you're welcome to this edition of the show with the ZR TV. It is a beautiful day at the premises of the High Chief Onlanla as he and his entire household are looking forward to the homecoming of his son, the Honorable Ogo, who went on a long journey and is now returning home. A grand feast has been prepared to bid him welcome. Reporting from the ZR TV, I am Gloria Anderson. All right, yo, my country people. I thank you now. We'll be saying now, take on join us eh, for this hour on this news at MZI TV. This is not the story where I want summer Una. My name now goes the Henry. Just reach me, say our very own high chief Olala House, just the bubble. People just they happy everywhere they cool it. People they celebrate. This is not because saying some picking will come up for this country. Go, but though you both say, say, don't carry in flight as they prepare a comeback. As the rich man picking where he can be everywhere, don't set. Red carpet don't set. Family and friends don't gather, join. Even people from different places of different sizes don't gather. Now because they won't celebrate this rich man picking. As the rich man picking way can't be now, listen to the work as the rich man picking way be. Now he can't remain. Alright, now for here I want buy the break on this very o'clock. For more story and updates, make now follow us at MZI TV on Facebook. 
They could not forget to like and share. Oh. My name is Ungozi Harry. They could not get better. Day. of you. I waited for you people to pick me up at the airport. But you guys did not show up. I had to carry my bicycle from the international airport to the marketplace. Before every woman and get to this place. Are you guys mad? Can't you talk? Why is everyone looking at me as if I'm a nobody? Have you not been waiting for me? Have you not made all this preparation because of me? I would suck you, I would suck you, I would suck you, I would suck all of you if you refuse to let me in. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? Why the noise? Why the noise? Oh. It's you? Oh, it's you? So you allowed a madman enter into IT for that house? Now listen to me. Leave this place now before I lose doors on you. Are you mad? How dare you stop me from entering my father's house? This is my inheritance. This is my place. This is my destination. This is my final bus stop. Is this not me? Look at me here. Look at me here. Look at me here. Is this not me? Look, listen to me. You are a madman. You are a lunatic. And a lunatic cannot have access to the mansion. Neither do you have access to the monuments and benefits of the rich man. You belong to the dumping ground and not the mansion. You have to sleep in dirty, stinking gutters. I'm not on the bed. You have to feed on pieces of dogs. I'm not on delicious meals set in glass plates. You decide to drink of the urines of goats and not of the wine serving royal cups. Now, get out if I lose my temper. Get out! Nonsense. Am I mad? <laughs> I, I, Ajib, sir. You're, you're welcome, sir. Everything is set. We are ready for the arrival of your beloved son, sir. Oh, oh, oh that? Don't bother about it, sir. I have taken care of him, sir. He, he came claiming to be your son. I can't just imagine. I, I just believe he came for the crumbs of food we save our dogs. Don't worry about it, sir. I will handle it, sir. Chief. Uncle. My dear father, <laughs> I am very happy to see you. <laughs> it's only been a while I have left home. It has not been easy at the field outside there. <laughs> but I am excited now. I am home. 
I just don't know why this world cannot believe I am your son. Ogo, what happened Aya. to you? Why are you like this? Where is your identity? In the land of Torofi, the land of the mad, it used to be a place for the sane, but now has become a place for the insane. There live a lot of mad people who are happy and joyous. Everybody in the land of Torofin is mad, including their king. They have nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about because they are satisfied and comfortable. They never believe there is a better life apart from the life they are living now. They found pleasure in insanity and never for once think of getting healed for their madness is the best to them. And one fateful day, one fateful day, a psychiatric doctor came to the land of Dorothy to treat the mad people and make them heal and enjoy a better life. He brought a lot of clothes, medicine and goodies for them to be well, but the entire village rushed in and killed him. Oh no, this young medical doctor wasn't aware that no one has ever brought healing to the land of Torofin and came out alive. The land of Torofin is full of bloody mad people. Did you know that Torofin is not actually a village as it appears? But the entire land of Torofin is the life of a man himself called Tolofin, the great lunatic who lives in the tombs and scratches his own body with stones and other dangerous things. A great mansion was to be his home, but is now living in the burial ground. Beautiful bedroom has been prepared for him, but is now sleeping in the tomb. Oil has been prepared to make his skin glow, but his skin has been damaged with stones. Ah! Torofi! Ogo Torofi Malade! Ah! Depart from me! I know you not. Security! Security! Ah. Walk this madman out of this compound. No. And I don't want to ever set my eye on him again. Yes, sir. People see you as a normal person, but you are mad with them. Franklin, your life has become a dwelling place for the forces of darkness, and they have already dominated your life. Oh, God. What? 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 How am I related to Torofi? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Honestly speaking, the program seems as if something is off. 
I can't still figure it out. I, I don't know what went wrong. I know what went wrong. Mm -hmm. The problem is from the head. Mm. You see, when the head is sick, automatically the entire body will be sick. Mm. When a leader is not ready to put himself in alignment with the will of God, everything about him will be full of errors. In fact, nothing good will be in his works except for errors. Bro, another thing is professionalism. How can a reasonable leader commit great assignments in the hands of a novice? And you expect great results? Uh -uh. Show you the wine mini. Common sensically speaking, it is only anointing with professionalism that can yield great results. It is only spirit in collaboration with professionalism, in conjunction with anointing that can get excellent results, Hi. that can yield phenomenal results. Hi. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is amazing. My brother, you see, but, but I think we all need to intercede for him so that God can reveal to him in order for us all not to fall. Intercede, God. Intercession. I, I, I'll be intercontinental. Am I the leader on this ground? Eh? Am I the leader on this ground? Yeah, of course, I'm also a leader in my own right. And I have people under me that I am accountable for. Eh? But uh, this is also his own responsibility. He should face it and let him tell God the excuse for him not succeeding. <laughs> but the effect of having prayers of a righteous man avail it more. Uh, Eskisa, Eskisa, Eskisa. I cannot waste my divine glorious anointing to intercede for a man who is not willing to will with the will of God. No, thank Bless you. All these sinful acts have turned you to a madman in the tomb. From there, you are living as a normal human being. But your life, your life is in the tomb of the darkness. With many sinful acts using your life as settlements. Frankly, you that want to be representing the light of Christ have even lost your lamp. Oh, God. You that ought to be leading people on the pathway of righteousness. You are now leading many on the pathway of immorality. You that ought that that ought to, to be a pride and great honor to the kingdom of God. You've become, you've become a shame. Shame and disgrace to the kingdom of God. The host of heaven are weeping over your life, frankly. Frankly! <sighs> but what about my sacrifices? My hard labor for the kingdom of God, my zeal and passion for the expansion of the kingdom of God, my acts of service. <laughs> Franklin. Franklin. Sir. You're only using talent and gifts, but the spirit of God has departed from you since you began to wear the rags of sin. Since you began to wear rags of iniquities, no act of service will be accepted without a clean act of service. Not everyone that calls me Lord shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. But he, only he that doeth the will of my Father who is in heaven. What a great pity! The light of salvation, the light of healing, 
the light of deliverance and the light of breakthrough that your generation is crying for is in youth but has been covered with rags of masturbation, of pornography, of pride, of lies, of hatred, envy and jealousy. All this has covered the great manifestation of God in your life. Frankly, you are a disappointment to your generation. You are nothing but a waste of divine resources. You are a bad investment. You, you are such a tree that should be cut down. Or you bear no fruit. I am dying, oh Lord. I have heard thy voice. I need to die, Lord, to me. I am truly mad. I accept the fact that I am mad. I know that I do not deserve mercy. I have really messed up. I have messed up. Yes, one of your mentees <laughs> came to report you to me. The one you tried to learn to sexual immorality, <laughs> and she refused. She had great passion <laughs> to intercede for your soul. She went on her knees to beg God for mercy over your life to bring you back on track. <laughs> and after reporting you to me, the Lord showed me who you really are. What is what your is name? name? We are Vicious! We are Planning! He, he who is who in is Christ, Christ is a new creation. All things are passed away, and all and things have become new. Now, now get, get out. out. Anybody of you, she ran a nickel. 